Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. I am doing this kind of vlog style. I just got home from work. I'm really, really warm, so I am already in my pajamas, but I wanted to bring you guys a pantry organization video. I am about to take on this crazy amount of organization tonight. And I wanted to show you a little bit of the before and then I'll show you the after because the during is gonna be boring and long and I don't know how I want it all organized yet so we'll get into that in a second. Just for scale, this is my refrigerator and then directly to the right of my refrigerator is this really nice, really roomy and deep pantry. Um, nothing is really going on in there right now. I do have some bins that I wanna utilize. The coffee is actually gonna go up farther. And then these are these wonderful little jars that I actually ended up getting at Ikea a while ago. Um, I will put my, I think it's one of my Vloon videos, but it's like an Ikea haul. So I will put that down below. I've got like my dog's food and like, a Brita filter and some more of my dog stuff that I really want to get out of here. I want to use this for my food only. And then if you look over here, the cabinet that is open is kind of my makeshift pantry, but I don't like it right there. I would rather have all of my food in here and in bins or whatever. So um, I think in here, what I want to do for now is I want to have the bottom shelf dedicated to my dog. He has um, like medication and like pills and lots of other things too, like all of his treats and stuff and like heartworm and tick medication, like stuff like that. So I just want to put it all over here because that is stuff that um, I use on a daily basis and I'd like to have it kind of down low. But I want to put all the rest of this stuff in that other cabinet. So besides those containers from Ikea, um, I have a bunch of other organizers that I just kind of took out of my guest room, which is where I'm kind of storing a bunch of random stuff. So um, I got these at the dollar store um, a while back, so I thought these might be kind of cool. I need to wash that, obviously, um, just for like containers. I got this at the dollar spot at Target a while ago. Um, some of these I got from Target. One of them I got from Five Below. I also got this guy at Five Below. So these are some things. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these or if I'm just gonna like, swap some of these out. Sorry about like the disheveled mess, like I just moved in, so it's just a little bit crazy in here right now, but I wanted to show you what I was using. So anyway, I'm gonna get to organizing this hot mess behind me, and I kind of look like a hot mess right now because I'm really hot and sweaty because I just took the dog on a walk, and it is like, the sun is beating down on me like crazy. Oh, and if you're wondering, I know some of you are probably like, show me the calendar. There is the calendar. If you watch my Vlue Live vlogs, you would have seen it up close anyway, so you can go back and watch one of my Vlue Lies. You will see it there, I promise. I think it's gonna be day 10, so if you really wanna see it up close and personal, check out day 10 Vlue Lie, okay? But I'm gonna get rolling on this, and then I will check in at the end and show you my progress, and hopefully you guys enjoy my pantry organization. <laughs> Okay, so I'm finally done with the pantry so far. I don't have a ton of food. I mean, I have like a lot of staples, but I, you know, will end up gathering more as I go. There is one thing I wanted to show you before I gave you a little tour, uh, something that I used. I used these. These are these clear adhesive pockets that I got at the Target dollar spot about a year ago. Um, it, they're really kind of neat, and I put them on some of the jars that had like specific cooking directions. So um, you'll see those in just a second, but I did cut them down to the size that I needed because they were just like plastic and clear adhesive on the back. So let me give you a tour. All right, so here's the fridge again for reference. So let me pan all the way up and then go all the way down very slowly. And then I will give you a little bit of a detailed tour shelf by shelf. So let's start at the top. The coffee bin still stayed. I've got these like little bolt things that are actually for my bed upstairs, but um, my actual bed is coming soon. It's my guest bed. Um, this is just like my little snacky area. I've got some red vines, Twizzlers, Raisinets. Uh, the blue package behind there is some of those pretzel thins, and then I also have some nuts in there too, some almonds. So that's my little snacky basket if I'm feeling 
snackified. Okay, so the next shelf down is the shelf that I actually used these little adhesive labels. Um, I actually pulled this off of the packaging. Um, these are some green lentils, and then I have some red split lentils. It's so hard to show with the um, glare right now. Sorry about that, you guys. These are the containers I got from Ikea. I got them all washed up. There are some from the Dollar Tree, which I will show in a moment. But yeah, put all of my rice in that container. I had a little bit of rice left over, so when this rice is gone, then this will just go in the wash and go into storage. Um, I have some granola, which I always have, and then right back there is some flaxseed, so that is good to go. I feel like this kind of goes with the categories. Um, there's just some crackers, I've got some couscous, and then also I have um, a little box of quinoa over here. So that'll go right there. All right, and my next shelf down is kind of like my pastas. Um, right now I have some gluten-free pasta right here. I'm not gluten-free, I just figured I wanted to try it. I've got some penne pasta right here. And then in this big container, which I got this at Walmart many, many years ago, is just some egg noodles. Back behind the penne is some pasta roni, and then I also have like a nor rice side. And then I have some tuna fish right here. Back behind here is just kind of like a hodgepodge of things in a um, little container. I've got microwave popcorn, then I also have like these little packages of tuna fish. And I also have, randomly, taco seasoning. So, <laughs> I don't know, it's just working for right now and I know where it is, so that's good. Over here, I just put this in a little basket because I just thought it looked really cute. And I don't know, I just like my stuff like corralled, you know? Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I just like the way it looks better. And I feel like I don't overbuy. Like, if you look behind here, I still have so much extra room back there, but I don't need any more than this. You know, I don't have a family of six I'm feeding. It's just me and a dog, so I don't feel like I need that. Um, I have a bunch of black beans in the front. I've got a couple cans of pumpkin in the back for the dog if he ever gets sick. And then I have all of my unopened salad dressings right here. As for the next shelf down, I just have some random things. So I've got my current loaf of bread that I'm working on. I love this stuff. It's the Quaker Oats, the instant oatmeal, the apples and cinnamon, my favorite. Um, I have some spices. I'm not really like into baking, but maybe someday. I have some stevia, and then I also have some cinnamon. This little concoction right here is actually stevia and cinnamon together, which I love to put on sweet potatoes. Like, oh, it's so my jam. So I just put that over here. And then I also have some apple cider vinegar. The next shelf down is just one bin of tortilla chips. That's it, it's super sad. <laughs> and then the last one, I got nothing. I just, I got nothing. And then if I go all the way up to the top, the one right above there, I don't have anything in there either. So that is it for my pantry organization. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think as I move into the home and really figure out what works for me, I've only been here for a little while, you guys, so um, I think this method is gonna change just a little bit, but I really love containing all of the dry ingredients into their separate containers. I absolutely love those labels. Um, like I said, they were at the dollar store, not the dollar store, but the dollar spot at Target a long time ago. You might be able to find things like that at the dollar store as well. So um, keep your eye out for things like that. And then I like to put like special instructions in there or cooking instructions. If it's something I don't make a lot, like I don't make lentils a lot. So it's something that I just like to have on hand, especially for that specific brand of, you know, how to specifically cook them. So anyway, I think that is going to be it for the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see the Doyle cabinet, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And I will show that coming up very soon if you guys are curious to see how I organize Doyle's cabinet. So anyway, I am in a jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.